sometimes uh, these stories, they just write themselves. We remember a couple years back, um, we had a pending free agent in one Zadarius Smith, the Baltimore Ravens did, and he was just on the come up. His play got better every year and year and year, but that's because his opportunity got increased every year and year and year. Uh, but then it got to his final year, his contract year. And boy, he showed out. He showed out big time and he made uh, himself a lot of money. But unfortunately for Ravens fans, he did not make that money with the Baltimore Ravens. He made it with the Packers. But most Ravens fans, we weren't surprised because we know that Ravens, uh, one thing that they would try to do, they would draft these late round pass rushers like a Matt Judon, like a Zadarius Smith. And when they started ascending, when they started getting better and better, Ravens would be like, ah! We can replace that guy. No problem. We'll be good. We'll be fine. Not worried about that. He's just a fifth round pick. We can get another fifth round pick and draft another fifth round pick. And he'll do the same thing. He'll go through the same process. But it hasn't been so sweet. So now a report came out that the Ravens are apparently trying to right their wrongs with one Zadarius Smith. Uh, Tom Pelissero said that the Ravens are pursuing Zadarius Smith. Right here, right now. And this doesn't really come as a shock or anything. It doesn't come as a surprise or anything like that. Um, it would almost kind of be expected. I mean, he played good ball for the Ravens. He played great ball for the Packers because he became a starter there. He was a starter there. He was a full-time guy. Now, if they are pursuing him, if this report is true, which I do believe it is, my only concern would be his back. How good is his back? I know they said he's healthy now, but is he really all the way back? I know he posted the videos of him working out and stuff and doing all that, and he motivated me. I'm like, man, I need to work out some more too. But anyway, that's beside the point. But with Zadarius Smith, is he all the way ready? Is his back like really good to go? Because you know with back injuries, like they really scare me when it comes to football players because back and neck injuries the most. Because you just feel like they linger and linger and linger and linger. So hopefully for Zadarius Smith, it, that doesn't end up being the case. Hopefully for Zadarius Smith, even if he doesn't sign with the Ravens, hopefully he is good to go. No issues, no setbacks, none of that. So wherever he goes, he can ball out, man. Wherever he ends up being. Uh, could it be with the Ravens? Could it be with somewhere else? We'll see. If I had to really guess... Ah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that it happens. I wouldn't think that it happens. I'm sure he'll be interested in coming back to the Ravens. I'm sure that Ravens will be interested in him coming back. Um, but I think that he's going to be able to generate more money elsewhere. I think there's going to be another team that ends up being able to pay him more money than the Ravens can. The Ravens can provide him with a great opportunity. They can try to sell him on their new defensive coordinator. Uh, they could try to sell him on their new scheme, how that's going to be, even though they said it's going to resemble the old scheme a lot too. Um, and they can sell. I mean, he knows Baltimore and stuff. He knows the team. He knows a lot of the coaches and all that. He knows the culture. So that's already a sale right there. But the biggest sale when it comes to bringing in a free agent is money. It's money. And will the Ravens be able to really offer Zadarius Smith the best money? No, they won't. They won't. Um, but that's that would be the biggest holdup, I think. And that is, of course, the most important thing because you could tell a football player, hey, you want to win? You come here. You come through. They could be, oh, yeah, that's great. You could tell a football player, oh, you love a great culture, a winning culture. You come through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell a football player, oh, we got a people's coach. He loves the players. You know this coach. You played for this coach before already. Come through. He could be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, well, but. But we can't pay you that much money, my friend. And then that player would be like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to come through. I'm out. Bye.